All right, all right, everybody. Welcome back to Nico Brothers. So today we're continuing our build on our RV. It's another wonderful, beautiful, sunny day here in South Carolina. And hopefully this thing by the end of the day is gonna look like an RV and put together. Hopefully that's the game plan. The parts are looking great. They are dried up, ready for install. So good bit of work ahead of us. You know, we still need to prep these pieces. We're gonna put some silicone around the edges, make sure they're good. Get the locks back into place, make sure they're all, you know, WD-40 and working properly. But we also ordered some decals and they're coming in hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, that's gonna look really good and hopefully we'll be able to work inside as well. There's a couple little trim pieces that fell off, you know, a little work here and there. Like always, every car needs some love. So we're gonna hopefully work on the outside and the inside and get this thing knocked out. I mean, hopefully, right? At the end of the day, go for a drive. I, I don't say why not, but let's go ahead and work in the cabinets, get that installed first and get it looking like an RV again. Okay, I got the little cabinet in, no problem, went in really easy. This bigger one, I kind of struggled a little bit, but I got it in there and it's closing, but looking at it, it's upside down. This one's opens down and this one's gonna open up. <sighs> I kind of got it like that, opening up. But these bottom ones, I guess they should open down. Uh, let me look into that. And I flipped it. It just aligns so much better. I think that's what it's supposed to be anyway. Honestly, I don't understand the purpose of that guy because you open it, it's just a tank. You can't access the tank, can't work in the tank, you can just look at it. So that door doesn't do much at all. But whatever, it's there. That's done, let's move on. Two more doors. All right, so there we have it. We got the front hood aligned. The gaps are looking really good. I had to actually lower the brackets a little bit, but it's looking really good. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually put the seal on right here for the glass. Then we're gonna put the wiper blades on and the headlight cover. Let's keep working. All right, all right, moving right along. Got my cabinets installed, and they're looking sharp. I love the paint, matching, really clean. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the, over the tire, that little railing piece, get that installed, and then I'll know how to space my little pieces in the middle to cover up all those little holes. So, 
yep, getting it done. And finally, I will do my side pieces on my slide out. And it's gonna look good. Right, all right, a little trim moldings in. Ivan is working on the main moldings right now for the slide out, getting it done. Got this little side piece in, a little light marker, fender, flare things in. Looking good, coming together. All right, I feel like going inside for a little bit. I got my little rails back on there. For some reason, I fell off, so I got that together. Next thing I wanna do is fix my mirror. For some reason, it's all cracked up. No big deal. Basically just little tabs, kind of like a picture frame, honestly. Just get those tabs out and get it off, get the mirror out. Now will be able to measure it, put a new mirror in. It's gonna look good. I always have a lot more decals I could put on there, but honestly, not too big on stickers. Kind of a pain. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I think it's fine. Yeah, there's more over there. I could add more stickers here. I have more, but each their own, honestly. It's just stickers. I'm gonna move on. Next problem I have is a flat tire. That's great. I'm gonna jack it up and see if I find a nail or what happened. So, out with the old mirror, no big deal, came right out. I'm gonna go find myself another glass. I don't know, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, Ace, not sure where they sell glass. About to find out though. 
All right, all right, since I'm doing some upgrades inside, I might as well upgrade our door handle. Um, basically, that's the standard one, but we always loved going with the keyless handles. Oh man, this thing is so awesome. Having the remote to lock, unlock, a little keypad on the side. Honestly, these things are great. Definitely check it out. We'll leave a link down in the description below. How to my other RVs, and they're awesome. And there we go, just like that. It took me less than 10 minutes to get installed. Hit the button, automatically lock, hit it again, automatically unlock. Pretty sweet, rvlock.com, check it out. I think it's worth it. All right, so this interior is just beautiful, man. I love how those captain chairs turned out. So clean, everything wiped down and just looks so comfortable. It's pretty awesome to have a couch right there in the center, which actually pulls out to be a bed. So if you need some more space, boom, you're good to go. I think this thing sleeps about eight people comfortably which is pretty nice how you know compact it is, but yet you can still sleep a lot of people. Beautiful kitchen, I like the little side table that comes up, giving you more countertop space. Very nice. In the back, we actually bought some new twin mattresses from Mattress Firm, so that was pretty cool. Ready to go, and just in case you wanna go camping, we're good to go. I just wanna jump in and just take a nap, honestly. Love the bathroom. It's pretty cool how the doors both open up on the sides, giving you a nice, big, spacious bathroom because you could take a shower and then change without being cramped. So I went ahead and turned on my generator. Working great. That way I have AC even if I'm not plugged in. Lights are on. I actually put new, fresh batteries in there because it kind of sucks not having good batteries, but nothing's going to work. So new batteries. I was actually messing with the little bed. It goes up and down very nicely. Very smooth. I'll show you guys. Oh, before you lower, you definitely have to pull the safety pins. So you got a bed on top, comes with the mattress, sweet. Alrighty guys, and just like that, two and a half weeks later since we started this build, we're basically done. This thing is ready to go. I mean, you can go camping, we can put it up for sale. 
we probably are gonna sell it, not gonna lie, but it's pretty sweet. I honestly like the design, like how it turned out. Very clean finish. Over here in the shade, step out here in the sun. Ooh, there's the sun, but man, that thing is sweet. LED lights right there. Pretty happy with it. So I wouldn't say it was a crazy build, but honestly, a really fun project to see what's behind all those paneling to understand how the aluminum framing works on it and just putting it back together, getting all those wires done in that cabinet for the slide out to work in and out. And hey, we got it good. You know, it's working nicely. Awesome. We still have that really destroyed one in the front. We had to take the complete nose off and everything. We'll probably do that later. Take a little break from the RVs, but hey, why not? We'll get it done for sure. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. We have a new build coming, a supercharged build. Yeah, it's coming soon. So make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Thanks for your support, guys, and we'll catch you next time.